Howdy doody squad, check it out. It is a rigged a rigged a rigged it ratchet rigged up with one another, a Studio Series 82 and Earthrise. And in the latter half of the video, not later half, latter half, I will connect the Siege version so you can see what this looks like. But um, just, just got to the side. And uh, you know, before we get into all of this, just wanted to say hello, salutations, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or whenever and wherever this finds you in space time. And uh, sincerely, Genuinely, I really mean it that I hope you are doing super duper well and uh, and if you are not and I'm sorry to hear that and I hope things are kind of um, on the path to get better, you know, especially with Mr. Ratchet over here, you know, um, the bringer of healing and stuff. And so um, really quick, I kind of mentioned this on the shorts, but can I just tell you a little story about this guy? So I have the ratchets, um, not this one. It was um, this one, Siege Ratchet and um, uh, Studio Series Ratchet on display at my office. And as I was leaving work the other day, I know it's going to sound crazy, but Toy God was like, I want you to combine them. And I was like, excuse me, Lord? And he's like, you heard me. Combine them. And I said, uh, okay. So, um, yeah, I took him home. And, um, and if you're wondering, Toy God, I have no idea uh, what gender they are or if they have a gender, but... Um, I don't know. I, I was raised Christian. And so just in my head, it's always like, you know, God is a guy. But um, I don't know. I don't know anything about God. But um, yeah, Toy God basically spoke to me, though. I only know what I hear. And Toy God told me to combine them. And so like I did, like I did so here. And so I went home and I was like, who can do this job? Who can do this job? And um, yeah, I was like, you know what? It's going to be six gun because of the red and white. I mean, it was just kind of natural. I fidgeted with him. And by the way, look, he has a little kind of like axle turn. That's kind of cool, right? <laughs> I uh, fidgeted him, fidgeted with him for about half an hour while uh, watching TV with my wife. We were watching um, the show about some dude who's starting like a farm. I think he's someone popular. I mean, he's kind of he's kind of an older dude. He's in the '60s, I think, and um, he has this British dude, and he's starting a farm and all the hijinks involved. But anyway, anyway, neither here nor there. But um, my bad, I'm hella salivating right now. I'm always, dude, I'm always like drooling, near drooling when I'm recording these videos. I'm like, dude, what's wrong with me? Um, but over here is a one six gun. That's all you really need, just one six gun. So you can see the entire bodies here, the legs, and uh, you have the arms on the side. And the placement and the fitting and everything, dude, is just so, so right. So I feel like this is one of the things, uh, just like when Toy God told me to utilize um the mp the masterpiece rumble and frenzy pile drivers with the current ones the small siege ones and you can plug them into the arm so they can become armaments for Soundwave. dude perfect fitting and toy god told me to do that one too there's a lot of other ones that toy god has told me but this is the most recent one okay and so um i'll show you how it's made this is just plugged into the little ports on the side of the door which is really interesting because i'm not really sure what these ports are for um because they get hidden in transformation mode right so I I don't know why he has them, but um, anyway, so this works out, and they just plug into the side. You see that little see a little port right there? Yeah, that's where they plug in, and um, yeah, and these guys are basically plugged into the fists, and like the spacing is perfect. There are two, there are a couple of other uh, ports, um, I believe, on the forearm. Yeah, and in the shoulder as well, but the spacing. The fists actually are the perfect space for it, and you got to just twist them around and do bada bing, bada boom ski. Uh, this part over here is the top of six gun, and that's plugged into his uh, lower half torso or the middle middle piece. And that is just a little trailer hitch that's connected there. And the legs, like I said, they're just plugged into the fists. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah, I used to watch a lot of MGO, so you know it's natural that. Uh, some of his stuff like rubs off on me and stuff and you know even some of his uh, cadence the way he speaks like uh, even that you may have noticed um, but yeah you know we're all an amalgam of the different people and experiences that we have uh, you know come come into contact with in our lives and so not that I met him in person but um, yeah like I said you can see the spacing these and these seem to be identical but these are not they're further spaced apart and like I mentioned it is the perfect fit for the back of these pegs so you just stick those into the fists and then you get that plugged in right here and you're good to go so here let me show you the siege version yeah see this fits better in terms of the the white aesthetic it's like white 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 aesthetic and that works nice however it's not as futury looking and then six gun obviously looks very futury cybertronian 
And then Ratchet over here looks, uh, or, or Siege Ratchet looks pretty Cybertronian too. And by the way, there's a version that incorporates um, the skiff. Uh, maybe I can show you in a little bit. So same thing, we, um, we pop the bays open, the Michael bays open. Yo, it's hella stuck. Oh, that did not sound good. Oh, it was just the side doors untabbing. And like I said, you just then choke. There we go. Then we have that in there. And then we get homie situated right there. And uh, yeah, all the wheels roll, you know, it's, it's, it's flush. It, it slightly angles down, but you know, it's made possible by the joint that's over there, so totally fine. You get this bit, we'll remove this because this belongs to ER Ratchet. We'll get that in there. Plug it in, plug it in. That's another MGO thing, you know? <laughs> Yo, it'd be wild if MGO knew who I was and like shouted me out on his channel or something. Yo, I wonder if one of these larger toy reviewers would would give me a shout out if I paid them, you know? Because, I mean, I'm not really competing with them uh, for views because uh, what I do is pretty different, you know? I mean, yeah, I, I do my like... <laughs> I do my ghetto transformations and unboxings, but honestly, that's not why people are here on the channel. People are here to, um, you know, watch bot bending. It's like you go to that one Chinese restaurant for Chinese food, but then they serve like lasagna and you're like, should I get that? And you're like, I, I probably shouldn't. I should probably go to a legit place and get that lasagna, but I'm here, <laughs> you know? So I feel like that's what this channel is. It's the Korean food restaurant that often serves uh, lasagna. But if you really want lasagna, Go to an Italian joint that serves the real lasagna. Rosagna. See, oh my gosh. There's the Korean joint coming out. Rosagna. Um, go to a real place that serves real Italian food. And um, meaning like, you know, go to those real reviewers, real unboxers. <laughs> I'm a super fake when it comes to that, at least. I'm just a bot bender, baby. Um, and that's the Siege version. Aesthetically, dude, I like this version better. Just visually. The, um, you know, if it was black and white, I would like this version better, but um, the stark whiteness of this just matches the Studio Series one much better. And then, uh, what do we do with this? I think I had flipped this down. And, uh, what did I do earlier? Maybe it was like that. Maybe it was like that. I don't know. For some reason, it does not sitting flush now. I don't know. Maybe it was something like that. Ah, that kind of looks whack, dude. Was it like this? You could also plug the... Dude, these, all of these look weak. All of these look pretty wiggity, 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 weak. Oh, maybe it was... Uh, maybe I did that. I think that's what I may have done. And dude, this is so tight. I feel like it might break off. I got to be a little more gentler with it. My bad, homie. Yeah, I think that's what I did. Yeah, this looks much proper. Much, much more proper. All right. So there we go. Siege version. Um, looks cool. Looks cool. Like I said, I think the aesthetic is better, but the color pairing between Earthrise takes the cake. Oh, and if you wanted to see what it looks like with the skiff, um, I'm, I'm not gonna swap the, the, what is it? The Earthrise version in there. I mean, I kind of want to, because I'm just like, oh, they're not matching. Like that. Hold up, is it like this? Or I have it like this. So I remember one of them was better for clearance. Then I was like that. Then I had this all up here. So I don't like this. I don't like this. This is one, like, there's too much. Like I mentioned on some of the other videos, there's too much toppings on the nachos, and it just ruins the integrity of the chip. And uh, this is one of those things. There's too much going on. I don't like this. I don't like this at all, dude. 
It's like even the Power Rangers, you know, sometimes when it's like this Zord combined with this Zord and on top of that Zord and we're going to go into a carrier and a eh, certain time I'm just like, all right, man, that's too much, dude. That's just too much, dude. I, I can get one Zord with maybe another Zord draped on top of it, like the Mega Zord with the Dragon Zord on top of it. I can I can deal with that. But when they're like all getting into like, eh, even Titanus was not that bad. I don't know. When they're just like, when there's just too much stacked on top, I'm like, nah, bro. Nah, bro. Um... All right, whatever, dude. Good enough. Good enough. So, um, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this build. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Toy God, for the inspiration. Um, and I hope you all turn up next time and uh, don't think that I'm crazy. <laughs> all right, thanks. Bye.